Eagle proud symbol of our country Keep on flying high up above And together we will stand And we'll restore the land Oh Eagle Keep on flying Eagle That's right, it's Listen to the Eagle You're live, call in radio show On hunting, fishing, guide, family and country Burdock Carruth right here live in the Reeds Metal Studio alongside, like I told you in the beginning, the legend, Paul Ott on the telephone. What's up, Paul Ott? Well, everything's doing good, Bert, but your brother's pulled a good one on me night full life. So I guess you heard about it. No, what'd Paul do? Well, uh, it wasn't Paul. It was Russ and Jeff, and the first thing I know... Carla had made arrangements for me to go in the hospital to get checked out, which, by the way, was a clean bill of health. But first thing I know, I'm in some kind of an ambulance headed to some hospital. Now, what do you think about brothers that'll do something like that? Well, Paul, I was probably part of that coalition on the other side. I was on the other team. Oh, you were? Yeah. Well, it all checked out good, so I, we got another good clean bill of health anyway, Bert. Well, that's good. That's so, good. Always good to know. See, that's like I told you, Paul. At least now we know. Yeah, now we know. Now <laughs> we know. I guarantee you. Well, I'm I'm so glad my alley cat's there with y'all. We do. We've got a surprise guest tonight. You know, it's always fun to have Youth Night and our co-host, Mr. Landon Moore's in in Reed's Metal Studio. But we got a special guest for our listeners tonight, Paul. At the bottom of the or the bottom half of the hour, around that six thirty mark. We're going to have Allie Leanne come up and start singing some of her music. So we we, oh. we we invite you to stick around for a couple of songs from Allie, your beautiful granddaughter. You got that right. Yeah, I helped her get started with that. She's something else, that little monkey. Paul Ott, you know it's one of our great partners. MDOT is here tonight. We got Mr. Michael Flood also from DOT. Michael, welcome. Appreciate y'all having me once again. I love being here. Absolutely. You you kind of came in a little sideways sure. and said you'd been to maybe some drills and things we, like that. We've Tell been we've, well we've been participating in MEMA. They're having a hurricane um you know activation drill where that all aspects of their you know hurricane prep goes into you know they they activate and pretend like there's a real hurricane coming and uh, we just had to suspend uh, or they suspended you know the drill today just because of two tropical storms that are developing uh on you know underneath us right now so we wow. have to really keep an eye on that right now and we're going to finish the drill later this week um you know mdot we've we've done all of our fine tuning and uh preparedness readiness uh all spring and 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 we're you know ready for anything so yeah right now we're just urging people that you know they're, they're predicting a pretty loud year as far right. as storms go um you know since it's been five years since the last really you know bigger one so um we're just trying to you know let people know not to be complacent and getting prepared and uh you know get get ready just have a plan of action together especially if you're in the southern part of the state well speaking of that michael if our listeners are out there it is getting to be hurricane season y'all are already doing drills kind of share with them where they can go to get some information from y'all sure sure uh the, the best place to go is going to be go mdot.com forward slash hurricanes and uh at that website you can find i mean that's really going to be your best place to go your one-stop shop you can get evacuation routes um you know we have a, a 2017 hurricane guide we update every year and in that uh guide has all kinds of important contact information contra flow information it's got evacuation routes in there um also at go mdot.com slash hurricanes we've got you know uh preparedness tips on how you can prepare your home how to prepare your evacuation kit and your disaster kit um and uh and then we've also got demonstration videos to show you what you can do to get ready so there's a lot that goes into you know planning once the storm is announced that it's on the way and we just want people to start thinking about those things now well and no doubt just the other day by accident i realized uh, the, how good of a job y'all do at actually marking these evacuation routes. I came up from Biloxi on some back roads to meet Paul Ott in Tylertown to eat a good lunch right. uh, a couple of Fridays ago. And as I was coming on those back roads, all of a sudden I started noticing that's you know, right, the, 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 the evacuation, evacuation route, route markers. Yeah. And, and what's really cool now, um, specifically down on the coast, we're installing uh, these ITS boards or their their, oh, yeah. uh, their information traffic systems, what they stand for. And, you know, they, they have all these boards, like digital message boards that are along 10 that, you know, alert you on how, you know, how if there's a traffic backup, you know, miles sure. ahead or yeah. during a evacuation, that's when we're really going to be using that stuff too during, during a disaster, a potential disaster, which hopefully we won't have. But, yeah. you know, we will have that technology in use this year, uh, you know, and go going forward which is great michael no doubt that's a big topic for for dot and we thank y'all for always helping and making sure that that everyone stays safe 
But with that said, is there anything outside of the hurricane drills, any major construction that anybody needs to know about? I notice it traveling the, the great state of Mississippi. There seems to be some, some work really there starting is, to pick up. There is. Uh, specifically in, in y'all's area down in the southwest part of the state, Paul, we've Beautiful got... Beautiful um, scenic rivers region. That's right. That's right. Yes, there's uh, three really major projects going on there. We're um, reconstructing... Uh, uh, us 49 right now throughout covington county so if you're driving down to hattiesburg from here you'll definitely notice that um there'll be some land closures there we're also going to be reconstructing 55 throughout pike county so um you know if it's about a 10 mile stretch of, of that going on and yeah. there's a lot more work going into that like they're going to be improving the intersection um with delaware avenue and then there's you know lots of uh lots of other work going on along 55 right there and then in natchez we're going to be they're going to be they're going to have to uh, replace the pins and links on the westbound 84 natchez bridge uh later this year so Wow. That is gonna that's gonna require a complete closure of that westbound bridge for up to one year. So um, you know, it's work that only has to take place every seventy five years or so. And uh, you know, we just People can so, stay updated on these projects. Well, so is there a link or, or the yes. same site so they can it's, find out alternate routes? Because that's sure. a major. That's uh, absolutely. Major um, all these projects I've mentioned, you can stay updated on all of them at m.traffic.com. Um, you know, right now the Westbound Bridge in Natchez is still open. They're just doing some prep work now. But they're also going to paint the bridge during its closure time, yeah. too. So um, we expect that to happen, you know, sometime in July. We don't know for sure yet. But, um, you know, I shared with you all earlier that, that I covered the state of Mississippi for OEC construction. And we actually just built a beautiful sea store down for victory marketing in the middle of sure. natchez yeah yeah but man there was a lot it seems like a lot of a lot road going work going, Lots on going on all the time in there, natchez. there is natchez is uh <laughs> yeah we were there for four different events last summer uh you know different ground breakings and ribbon cuttings and there's just so yeah. much going on down there i love natchez love well wasn't this year paula didn't didn't we talk about it, it was the 300th year anniversary for the city That's of right. natchez 300 years it's uh, you know, what's that tri-centennial for Natchez? And, but, you know, Natchez is a place to go, I guarantee you. Well, hey, and weren't you there when, when they actually made it a city? Weren't you there that day that they signed the papers, the document? Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> there. We had a big crowd there. When it, the day, but I, I wasn't there 300 years ago. Oh, that's what I was <laughs> Yeah. It's a centennial year, you know. That's you have right. MDOT's bicentennial. I mean, Mississippi's bicentennial, and then MDOT centennial yeah. was last year. Well, as we go to break, uh, Michael, you know you're welcome to stay, but I know you you mentioned you might need to get out of here. Is there anything else across the state of Mississippi they need to know from DOT? Sure. Uh, you know, the only other place other than MDOTtraffic.com is just follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, all of that at Mississippi DOT, all one word. So you can find us online there on social media. That's another great place to get live updates. Absolutely. Well, Michael, not only thank you, but thank you to all of DOT for what y'all do to keep us safe and keep our roadways Thank you. Uh, Thank you for date. saying that. Y'all be safe out there and watch out for those workers on the side of the road. Be alert. Absolutely. We're going to come back. It's youth night. We got Landon Moore, myself, Paul Ott, right here in the Reeds Metal Studio, 1-800-251-5891 or pound 444 if you see Spire, customer inspired if you want to be a part of the show. We'll be right back. Paul Ott's The Day of the Lord CD-DVD combo set is our free gift to you and your family. The Day of the Lord includes songs like I Am That I Am, Don't Cry For Me, and They Could Not Stop His Love, as well as special sermons by Tom Lester, Dr. Larry LeBlanc, and others. Paul's special holy visits and the printed Don't Cry For Me poster are also included. Get yours by calling 1-800-684-9486 or by letter to New Day of the Lord Ministries Foundation, Box 219, Summit, Mississippi, 39666. Welcome back. Listen to the Eagle. Burdock Carruth coming to you live from the Reeds Metal Studio along with Side Paulot on the telephone. Thank you for making us a part of your evening. No matter how you're listening to the show, we also want to invite you to always go to listen to the eagle.com. Check out what's going on, where Paul Ott may be, where I may be, or any subject matter that we've covered on some previous shows. You can always find some updates at listen to the eagle.com. Uh, but it's all, it is youth night, and we always have Mr. Landon Moore here with us. And Landon, we also have a very famous special guest we we hope is going to call yeah, in. I think uh, you've lined up. Yes, sir, Mr. Uh, Preston Pittman, the five-time world champion turkey caller, man. He's supposed to be calling here in here in just a few minutes. And, uh, you know, Mr. Preston and I uh, kind of became friends through a mutual friend. I uh, actually got to hunt with him years ago at a, it's a place in, in Liberty that it, you kind of it's an in, invitation only type deal and you get uh -huh. to go hunting and I, I was lucky enough to get to go hunt there for several years and and uh, we got 
I got to meet him over there and watch him do his routine and all that. And if you've never been around Preston Pittman and seen him do his routine, you're missing out. He is a character. Well, Paul Ott says he's <laughs> half turkey. Yeah, I'm telling you. He's he, born he, on he, Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> I'm telling you. And uh, I tell him sometimes, I say, Mr. Preston, you kind of favor a turkey. He said, that's good. You know, that's, that's good. <laughs> he is a mess. But, uh, but look at there. He's calling right there. Well, yeah. hey, let's go straight to it. We're talking about you, Preston. Pittman. Yeah, Mr. Preston, we in here talking talking good about you, though. How you doing? Well, for a change, I guess I'm doing good. If you're talking good about me, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We talk. We're talking good. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Dudley told him everything you know. Hey, I hear you. Well, Mr. I Preston, we just going, I appreciate you calling in tonight. No, um, y'all, Mr. Preston and along with Longleaf Chemo did a lot for my youth hunt this past year. I I uh good uh I call him Uncle George, but his man by the name of Mr. George Crassmeyer from from Magnolia Macomb area. He was my great uncle's good buddy. Down and there in I, that beautiful scenic rivers it region. Is, area. It is. And uh I got to know Mr. Preston really good. We worked offshore together. Oh, and uh wow. yeah, it was kind of weird. He walked up to me at the supper table and he said, Boy, you look just like your daddy and he walked off. <laughs> I, I mean I'm out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> you know. Like <laughs> That's right. And so we we hit it off and, and um when this all went down, I got hooked up with Uncle George and asked him to give me Mr. Preston's number and, yeah. and I I'd be scared to know how much stuff they sent for the youth for that hunt that day but it was absolutely absolutely outstanding and and i can't say thank you enough for that mr preston uh, look you're more than welcome i'm gonna tell you what there's one thing that's close to my heart are the kids that are out there we're losing way too many right now a lot yes. of these kids and youngs are not raised up the same way that i was and the way that george was they don't know what a darn mud pie is. They don't know how to entertain themselves whenever they get out there. So any little thing that me or Longleaf can do to to help entertain and to get a child out in the woods, we're all in. I can promise you that. Yeah, that's that's amazing. You know, it just if it wasn't for people like this, you know, that we couldn't have the like the event that I had this past year. You know, and I, Mr. Preston, you know, you you just made a a big statement. You said that uh, it's it's fading and it's it's going away. I, I got a good friend of mine that's he's actually part of the Mossy Oak Pro staff, and he's a, he's a great guy and turkey hunts all over the world, and and uh, just a a good Christian guy. You know, he's twenty five, twenty six years old, and he's done been all over the place, seen it all. And I asked him one one evening, I said, I said, man, what is what's the deal? Why is it why is it fading? Why is it going away? Because I love it more now, just as much now as I did when I was five years old. Right. He said, it's money, man. I said, do what? He said, it's a rich man's sport. He said, it has turned nope. into a rich man's sport. Preston, do I you do believe that? that? Nope, I do not. You don't, okay. Let me tell you what it's turned into. Okay. And, and first, let, let, let me say this, bud. <clears throat> Technology is changing. This okay. world is changing. It's not like what it used to be when I was a kid and a young and coming up. I, I won't totally disagree. Yes, there is money involved, but it's money that is at hand that if people will use and utilize it uh, to join a club or whatever it may be, that's an awesome thing. But here's, here's the real root of the problem. If, if, if you heard what I said, and if the listeners heard what I said, nobody knows what a dang mud pie is. Right. <laughs> what a mud pie is, is whenever a kid has to entertain themselves. That yep. means that whenever it's raining like what it is right here at my house right now, that they can go out there, get in a mud puddle, build a mud pie, build a mud castle, whatever it may be, and entertain themselves. Technology is a wonderful, please, listeners, don't take me the wrong way, Technology is an awesome thing, and, and, and I love, even though a lot of it I don't understand, I'm old school. <laughs> yeah. But what do you see kids doing right now? They're walking around with darn cell phones in their hand, and you can't carry on the conversation with them because they're getting a blast of text or a phone call, and they're not looking at God's greatest creation. Well, and God's greatest creation is the outdoors. And they're not experienced in that. They're looking for information, and what do they do? They go to YouTube. They go to the Internet. They go to 
whatever it may be. And granted, it is a wonderful tool, yeah. but there is nothing, absolutely nothing like experiencing it yourself, not depending on all these games, not depending on the Internet, using and utilizing them where they need be at. But how about getting out there and just seeing everything, seeing a thrush build a nest, you know, in a tree, hmm. listening to a turkey gobble, watching a buck deer chase a doe, seeing a beautiful fawn, you know, when they first start dropping. They're, they go to the Internet to find all this crap out. <laughs> How about experiencing it your own self? Get out there and see, and I will repeat it, God's greatest creation. Well said, Preston Pittman. Y'all don't go anywhere. We've got a whole nother half hour. We got Preston Pittman. We got Landon Moore, Paul Lott, and we're also going to have a little music by Allie Leanne. We'll be right back. Legendary entertainer Paul Ott brings you his greatest hits. Get them all in this special CD DVD combo set, including Old Blue. Many and a many of an early morning. I am Mississippi. I am everything good you have ever dreamed about. The right, arm of right arm of America and many more. To order, visit listen to the or send twenty dollar check your money order to Paul Ott's Greatest Hits, Box two one nine, Summit, Mississippi three nine six six six. All right. Welcome back. Listen to the Eagle. Man, that was fun. Preston Pittman. Man, he's a great guy. What a guest. I can't say enough good about him. He's just been fine to me now. Hey, and Paul Ott, by the way, you heard him. He said that uh, he he really wanted to be more part of the show. I man, we need to take him up on that. Absolutely, yeah, because he's really good. I'm telling you, he's he is. Every time I've ever called that man, you know, I'm just. I'm just a nobody from, you know, down in, yeah. down here in southwest Mississippi. And every time I call that man, he call, picks the phone up and either answers it or calls me right back. It's amazing. Yeah. You know? What a guy. Man. What a guy. Well, real quick, like we promised, it's youth night. I'm taking a little bit of uh, my Paul Ott-ism and, and doing what I want to do on the show, but I think Paul Ott would agree. I've got Miss Allie Leanne, 16-year-old from Trustville, Alabama, songwriter, singer, Allie, welcome to Listen to the Eagle. <laughs> Are you glad to be here? Yeah, I'm glad to be here. That's okay. Awesome. Well, she's got her guitar. That's a pretty we, uh, guitar, too. We Thank wanna, you. We're going to let her sing. What, are you going to sing a song that you wrote or sing a cover song? I'm going to sing a cover song by Maren Morris. By Maren Morris. She's uh, new to country radio. Okay. Well, introduce our listeners, if you don't know, a little Maren Morris by Allie Leanne. Can I get a hallelujah? 
folks. Y'all don't go anywhere. We got a couple of more segments of Listen to the Eagle. Thank we'll be you. right back. Paul Ott's The Day of the Lord CD DVD combo set is our free gift to you and your family. The Day of the Lord includes songs like I Am That I Am, Don't Cry For Me, and They Could Not Stop His Love, as well as special sermons by Tom Lester, Dr. Larry LeBlanc, and others. Paul's special holy visits and the printed Don't Cry For Me poster are also included. Get yours by calling 1-800-684-9486 or by letter to New Day of the Lord Ministries Foundation, Box 219, Summit, Mississippi, 39. Six six six. Welcome in. Last segment of Listen to the Eagle. Murdoch Carruth alongside Paul Ott in this youth night. And we got our co-co-host Landon Moore in the Reeds Metal Studio. Landon, just thank you so much for, for being a part of this. I guess we got a little bit of time and we got somebody on the phone line. So let's go to the phone lines. Yeah. We got Bill. Yeah. Hey, Bill. It, Bill. Hey, how y'all doing this evening? Good. Morning. How are you? I'm doing well, sir. It's a pleasure to talk with you guys. I just sitting here riding down the highway and listening to you, and and uh, you was talking about the stories and and how coming up with your grandfather at the deer camp and all how it meant so much to you, and it brought back a lot of memories wow. of my own. Yes, sir. Times with my granddad, who's passed on now, but I cherish those memories. But I tell you a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> you know the deer camp. You hear and see about anything known to God and man down there. That's right. And, uh, well, at one time we had 11,000 acres we leased, and we had about 75 to 100 members. We had a huge club. Wow. Right. And wow. Uh, a lot of the guys would bring their campers, you know, and park them down there. But anyway, they'd all get together in the camp itself, play that boo ray card game, you know, and, <laughs> and, 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 and drink some of that joint lubricant for medicinal purposes that, that pop and, uh, that pop with the foam on top <laughs> that's what i'm talking about so one night they were in there they gathered around a fireplace and they had a big old table and they was playing a card game well i got three cousins and a brother that was just about as mischievous as i was <laughs> and we all had this bright idea we were going to we climb up a ladder and get on top of the roof and throw a handful of bottle rockets down the <laughs> chimney into that fire <laughs> So we got up there, and we done, we thought, I mean, a handful of them down there, cuz. And when they hit that fire and started going off, you talking about some cussing and running. They looked like a cousin of quail bailing out of them windows out the door. <laughs> and we had we had to stay on the down low for about three days after that. Yeah. Oh, you know? man. That's but I'll tell else. you, that, you know, I, there's just so many stories that just – you know, it just brought back when you guys was talking. I mean, they were wonderful times, and I encourage every kid that can to spend some time in the woods with their with their folks because when you get older, like us, you know, it means a lot, or it does to me, to think back at all the time my grandpa spent with me. And I knew he had better things to do, but if I had a question, he'd sit and talk with me and, and explain things. And I will say this before I go. The biggest turkey I ever killed was because of my granddad. Mm. Nobody could kill that turkey. And I went to him, and I told him what he was doing. And he said, son, I'll tell you how to kill that turkey. <laughs> and he told me, and I did exactly what he said. I went in the woods before daylight. I went in the woods, y'all, at 3 a.m. that morning. I shot that turkey at 430 that next afternoon, but I didn't move. I took wow. snacks. I took bread, sandwiches. I took a book, and I sat right there, and I waited on that bird to come wow. back after he went off the roost. Because when he hit the ground, he left, just like he always did. But Papa told me, he said, boy, you sit right there, and don't you move. He'll that's be nice. back later on. Yeah, that's and he unreal. did. Bill, we're, we're did. running out of time. I can't thank you enough okay, for friend. sharing. Thank you yes, for sharing. That was no a problem. great story, Mr. Yes, sir. Bill. Y'all have a great calling. evening. Yeah. We're, we're, we're blessed to live where we are. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Landon, as always, thank you yes, for sir. being a part of this Absolutely. night. Absolutely, I love it. Appreciate what you do. Yes, sir. Uh, it, not not only y'all for the, giving me the opportunity to be here. It's 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 phenomenal. Absolutely, thank you so much. If you, uh, it's been a great show. Wonderful guest, Allie. Thank you for singing, Preston Pittman. Great, thank you for being a part of it. But if you don't remember anything else, please remember this: if you do things your way, you will get your results. Some good, some bad. If you'll stop and pray, you'll get his results. Paul I. Yep, but if those that are weary shall walk and not faint, Bert, and that's where I'm going, back to walking. That's right. With wings like eagles, Paul Ott. 
That's right. Flying like the eagle is mentioned 32 times in the Bible, Bert. That's right. Paul, I'll be back here in studio next week. We'll see you then. Good night.